And we begin tonight with a sentencing bombshell, an outcome that may very well be the first or one of the first in Harris County. A jury finds David Temple guilty of murdering his wife, but cannot reach a decision on his sentencing. Here's where things stand tonight. Temple remains in jail. A bond hearing will be held within 10 days. And as for what comes next for his sentence, a brand new jury will have to decide that likely in early 2020. The 20-year-old case that apparently will now stretch into yet another year. Channel 2 reporter Brandon Walker live downtown. And Brandon, this outcome is so rare, there are still a lot of questions. Yeah, indeed, Dominique. But the big one tonight is what happened? What were those conversations inside the jury's deliberation room? We can tell you that at least one juror wanted a lesser sentence for David Temple. And that lack of unity among the panel of 12 spelled out in their letter to Judge Kelly Johnson, which she read aloud right before she declared mistrial. When two jurors are not willing to budge at all, there is nothing more we can do. What jurors did is decide David Temple's guilt. That, yes, they believe he killed Belinda Temple. What they couldn't do is agree on how long Temple should be punished. Safe to say a head scratcher, a mistrial on sentencing? I can't think of having one of in any case I've ever had. It's not as unusual as it should be, but it's still pretty unusual. The unusual tonight, a matter of fact. A new jury will need to be convened, but if the old one couldn't reach a consensus, how tough will it be for the next? Also, what happened? Judge Johnson, the defense, the prosecution, each got to speak with jurors after it was all said and done, although they wouldn't tell reporters what proved the spoke in the wheel. Tough for all sides. Andy Kahn speaking for Belinda's family. It's like a gut punch. It, they've been on such a roller coaster of emotions of highs, lows, highs, I mean, the up and down, sure. Channel 2 legal analyst Brian Wise says whoever didn't agree with the majority likely had what's called residual doubt. Think of it as a type of buyer's remorse. Assessing sentence on another human being where the penalty is life for 99 years and deciding, wait, time out. I've now got questions about what punishment is appropriate. That's what this imbroglio is all about. No visible reaction from David Temple when that mistrial was declared in court. He is now back in custody. No bond set today. There will be a bond hearing sometime in the future. Keep us, we'll keep you posted, that is, on when that date is set. Live downtown tonight, I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Thank you, Brandon.